Our focus is primarily on art history and the interpretation of visual arts. But we also accommodate people who work in practice-based ways, in other words, who are practitioners. So most of our postgrads and postdocs are people who work in theory and history of art, but a couple are making art. And while our focus is on the visual arts, we have one postdoc who comes from a theatre background and another who comes from musicology. So we've got an exciting mix of creative practices. I myself often collaborate with people in other areas of the humanities, such as history, anthropology, politics. So along with art historians, we welcome people from cognate disciplines. COVID has really changed the shape of what we do. Our postdocs continue to have the opportunity to have lovely office spaces here, but we've also begun to accommodate postdocs who are out of seat, enabling support of contact and communication with them online. Along with working on their own research projects, Postdocs have opportunities to do a number of things. Firstly, they mentor postgrads, and through that they glean helpful supervisory experience. And these are not run of the mill postgrads, they really are special people. So for example, one of our PhDs, Ayabola Kikeria Kon, has just won the Upsa Atalia, one of the most important art competitions. Another, son of Temba Kuala, is on the Mail and Guardian's list of 200 young people to take to lunch in 2020. And one of our more mature PhD students, Fadoz Bobulia, is a media expert and a judge on many film competitions. Zeneca van der Bolt curates the art at a number of national festivals, such as the Plain Guru Kimsteers. So postdocs will find themselves mentoring people with enormous capacity. Postdocs also participate in the exciting events we host. For example, we host at least one conference every year. And these present opportunities to present papers and to meet a range of visitors, international and national, and to make important contacts. And the same applies for the guest seminars we run regularly. We also host exhibitions in our lovely gallery, and our gallery is available to postdocs for their own work or for curatorial projects. During COVID-19, we've begun working with online exhibitions. We hold a weekly seminar meeting and our postdocs and postgrads each do a seminar once a semester. This gives postdocs the opportunity to test their work in a supportive environment. Many use this forum for a dry run of articles or conference papers, and all tell me that this is very helpful. My name is Irene Bronner. I was a postdoc here at the SAR teacher in South African Art and Visual Culture from 2016 to 2019, so for three years. And I then got a job here at UJ at, and I'm now stationed at the same SAR teacher. Looking for a job was always an option after my PhD, but sliding into a postdoc was wonderful. So a postdoc with Professor Schmommen is what I can speak to here at the Saatchi chair. I did a full three years. Uh, it was an apprenticeship really, an apprenticeship to becoming an academic. And during that time, I got a lot of informal mentoring from Professor Schmarman, which was key really to me growing into and exploring my identity as a young academic uh, and very practical things sometimes like how to be strategic with publishing, how to uh, gain um, experience mentoring, fostering um, postgraduate students and then how to also really uh, grapple uh, structurally, conceptually, materially with their projects, how to give good feedback, how to structure proposals. Having come from a PhD experience of it being very solitary, I really appreciated being here. Our current postdocs have uh, come from all over the world at the moment because of COVID. We've had to expand how we do things. 
since our seminars are online currently, but we're gonna to look towards like a blended system in, in the coming year. And postdocs, while they might be, some of are international, they're literally in, in different countries like Brazil and Canada. Uh, we have uh, some postdocs who are currently in situ and they've come from a variety of different disciplines, all contributing to this exploration of visual culture, of how imagery and the experience of art shapes our lives. The University of Johannesburg, the future reimagined.